Pursuant to Clause 8 of Rule 20, the unfinished business is the question on agreeing to the Speaker's approval of the journal, which the Chair will put de novo. The question is on agreeing to the Speaker's approval of the journal. Those in favor say aye. Those opposed, no. In the opinion of the Chair, the ayes have it, and the journal stands approved. In the House, members will take their conversations off the floor, please. For what purpose does the gentlewoman from Michigan rise? Mr. Speaker, I rise to be recognized for one minute. The House will be in order. With that objection, the gentlewoman is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, today I rise to pay tribute to Michigan State University as tonight marks two weeks since a horrific shooting took the lives of three innocent students and injured five others. On February 13, 2023, Arielle Anderson, Brian Frazier, and Alexandria Verner were taken from us far too soon. Four students are still in Sparrow Hospital. One, thankfully, has been released and is at home. In the days since, we've all spent many hours in East Lansing and talking to MSU current Spartans and alumni. The strength and resilience I've witnessed has been both inspiring and moving. I've attended vigils where thousands have shown up to honor the victims and talk to students who are too scared to leave their dorm rooms. We've seen demonstrations where brave young students have made clear that they want action, not just thoughts and prayers. I've also met with many of the 25 different law enforcement and first responder organizations that ran towards the danger that night and commend the 911 dispatchers that guided agencies calmly during the response for both the shootings and the manhunt, as well as thank staff at Sparrow Hospital for saving students who were transported with gunshot wounds. Our community is Spartan strong, but grief remains palpable. Even on my own team, my staff is here, MSU current and alumni. Almost 15 months ago, this same group of Michigan lawmakers with our friends and allies, stood up here to mourn the loss of life at Oxford High School. It seems beyond belief that I am a member of Congress who has now overseen two school shootings in her district in 15 months. Yet another horrific tragedy that has forever changed the families of the victims, their classmates, professors, the entire community. We cannot be desensitized to this senseless violence. As the representative of the university, I have heard from people across the state who love MSU and want to protect our children. All anyone wants is protect our kids in the place that should be their sanctuary. Gun violence is the number one killer of children under 21, and I will work with anyone who is willing to recognize that and decide that we are not going to accept it. In closing, I ask my colleagues for a moment of silence for Arielle, for Brian,
for Alexandria and for their families and our state who grieve this immeasurable loss. Thanks for being here again. Thanks for your time. Well That's done. Thank you. Thank you.